Your Precision 18 forecast. New 18. Weather from where you live. All right, so we're tracking a few little spotty showers that have bubbled up and can't completely rule out one little tiny thunder shower that pops this evening. Uh, over about the next hour, hour and a half, this is where the sun has broken out a little bit today and actually, uh, which helped to warm us up to 58 to about 64 or 57 to 64 for high temperatures. But this is kind of the leading edge of the colder air coming in at Illinois with this little line of showers right in the heart of our viewing area. They're coming through Lafayette, uh, around Waveland right now, and also Waynetown all the way up to Delphi and a racing northeastward. And then behind that, it's just cloudy, windy, uh, and this band of rain in Illinois, which will break up a little bit as it comes in, We'll pivot in with time this evening and tonight, and temperatures are going to tank pretty quickly into the 40s. At least right now, we're running 49 to 56 over the area, but we're going to quickly tank to mid 40s by 11 o'clock this evening with showery weather. The winds really pick up too from the northwest. Sustained 20 to 25, some gusts pushing 40. That's going to continue right through the nighttime hours with 43 for the low. So, with that kind of wind, you know, wind chills are going to be running. Boy, 29 to about 36 degrees tomorrow uh, morning. Speaking of tomorrow, a gray day, showery, a lot of wind. Noon to about 6 p.m., we're going to have some gusts that reach up to 45 miles an hour. And with these kind of temperatures, there will be an edge to the air, 52 for Greater Lafayette. But it's only going to be in the mid 40s here in our northeast. Now, it will be a little warmer in our southwest where there could be a break or two in the clouds. And again, the upper low, which was forecast to be here yesterday, is more like looking like it's going to be here. So that means uh, we're going to have to shave numbers off these temperatures, which is why we're only going for highs of 46 to 57 tomorrow. Now on Friday, mostly sunny to start and cool near 40 degrees, but then high mid-level clouds increasing and thickening through the day as we warm into the 60s for a chunk of the area, 63 flora, 69 Covington, but only upper 50s at our north and northeast. A warm front will be working northward. That may spark a shower or two on Friday night. Now, the normal last 36 degree temperature is between May 1st and May 7th. We've kind of got one of those coming up for Thursday night, Friday morning, but there are some more of those later next week where we could drop into the 30s to around 40 degrees, too. So, some waves of cold coming in, but let's focus on the warmth coming in for the weekend. Showery tomorrow, cold and windy. This is, goes right up through tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night, we start to see the clouds break from west to east. Now, an additional perhaps tenth to half an inch of rainfall is expected for the area. But then we warm up. This is the good news. We warm up Saturday, upper 70s to low 80s with a strong southwest wind. It is still warm on Sunday. We may have a couple of storms sneak in Saturday night, but the storms may be more widespread Sunday. There may be an isolated severe weather risk Saturday night. The risk may go up somewhat Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, then a round of some rainfall getting into Tuesday of next week before we cool off after that and we see temperatures drop into the lows, 30s to around 40 degrees. And right there, that zone that's being painted, that's the risk of some severe uh, coming in, especially on Sunday. So 80 on Saturday, a couple storms during the nighttime hours of Saturday night, shower storms Sunday in the afternoon and evening.